All right, let's maybe get a vertex here. We're just gonna drop a symmetry on this. All right, so we're gonna add a symmetry modifier here. Okay, and we'll see how this looks. All right, now we need to start thinking about how we're gonna cut the hole in the bottom here for the filter. Uh, let's take another look at our reference. Uh, you can see it's pretty big, so we're gonna have to plow this uh, out most of the bottom here. Okay, so let's maybe start blocking that out now. And the easiest way for us to do that will just be out of a, a circle spline. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the create panel back to splines and choose a circle. And we're gonna drag this out right on the center intersection here. All right, and don't worry too much about the size right now. We'll figure it out in a second. Okay, let's set the interpolation steps to one. So we have an octagon. And we'll just kind of size this to what we need. Okay. Let's maybe increase the size just a bit here. Let's do maybe like 90 on the radius. Okay. And we're just going to drag this over. Let's just shift drag it over. It has a copy here and we're going to figure out where we want to put this. Let's put it right about here maybe. All right, so I'm going to line up with this intersection here. I'm going to shift drag another copy the other way. Okay, I just want to figure out how much uh, width we need on this. Okay, let's get rid of the center one now. Okay, and that's actually not centered. Let's go back a bit on this one to this intersection here. And I think that's pretty close to what we want. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is turn on our snaps here and just right click on that and make sure you only have vertex checked, then close it. Okay, we're just gonna drag this around and snap it to this vert here so we know it's right on the center. Uh, same with this one, select that and snap it to the center vert. Okay. And now we'll just cut this into the body of the tank. Okay, so let's go back over to the modify panel, reselect the tank. And let's actually just collapse the symmetry down for now. All right, so I'm going to right click and convert that to double poly. Okay, so we have both sides on one mesh. And we'll go back over to cut here. And we'll just start cutting around this as a template. Okay, so the same process as before, just start on one of the verts here and work your way around. Clicking on each vert. Okay, and we get to the bottom one here. We're just going to go straight across this one and continue working around the right side of this circle. Okay, and then back across to the top of the left circle and then right click. Turn off cut, turn off snaps, and we'll select this circle here and delete it. And this one here and delete it. Okay, we're going to need a little bit of cleanup here. And again, rather than doing it on both sides, let's just cut it back in half and work on one side at a time. Okay, so delete everything on the right side of center. And we'll just clean up this left side here. Okay, I don't want to really weld this point over to this vert here. I actually want to create a little bit more space uh, between these. So let's just grab these verts here, or maybe these ones, these three. Let's maybe get this one as well. I'm just going to move these over to create a little bit more space here. Whoops, let's deselect this one. Okay, just these four. And we'll push it over something like that. And we'll start cleaning this up. And first things first, we definitely don't want to have a vert on this edge here. That's going to give us a, a flat spot when it's smooth. So we want to get rid of this vert and this one. And the easiest way to do that is just to target weld them over to the side here. Okay, so I'm going to grab this one and target weld it over here. Do this one down to this one. Okay, and we'll also target weld these two over to this one. And same thing here. Okay, it's going to look a little messy, uh, but we'll clean it up. Let's turn off target weld here. We'll select this vert and this vert and connect them. And this one and this one and connect them. Okay, now we need to get rid of a couple of additional edges here. Let's go back to edge here. We're gonna grab this one and let's maybe do this one as well. And maybe this one here. And we're just gonna collapse these. 
Okay, just like that. And these polygons in the center here don't really matter because we're going to have to clean that up later on. Uh, we're going to have a couple of triangles right here and right here, but that's okay. Uh, I think we'll leave those for now. The next thing we'll do is maybe delete out these polygons here for the hole. So I'm just going to grab these. Okay, all the ones here in the center. And we're just going to delete that off. All right, and I think we can probably use these polygons to create the bottom. Uh, let's maybe do that. Let's go back into the top view here. Okay, I'm just going to go to my select tool here. I'm just going to grab all these inner polygons on the bottom. Okay, we'll get these ones here as well. Okay, we also want to make sure we get that uh, inset edge there. So let's grow the selection once. Okay, so we have everything up to the bottom here selected. And what we'll do now is go into the front view. Let's go over to detach, click that. We want to detach this as a clone and hit okay. We'll turn off polygon here. Okay, and that copied those faces for us. So we need to select those right like this. Let's also center the pivot point by going into hard tab, effect pivot only and center an object. And we just want to move this down a bit here. So it's going to break it down on the Z. We don't want to move it on the X or Y, just the Z. Okay, so we're going to use this, uh, these polygons here to stitch onto the bottom of the tank. Uh, but right now those normals are pointing up and we need them to be pointing down. Uh, so you can either select the polys and flip them, or you can use a normal modifier uh, to flip the normals. Let's do that. All right, so go down here, we'll find normal, and just check on flip normals and then convert it to edible poly. Okay, now reverse those faces so they're now pointing down. Okay, so now what we need to do is adjust the bottom border here of the actual tank. All right, so let's reselect that. Let's go to edge here. We'll try to loop this edge around. Okay, so just loop that outer edge. Uh, leave the inner one deselect it or unselect it. Okay, we'll come into this side view here, zoom in a bit, and we're just going to move this down. Something like that. All right, we want to make sure we have relatively even thickness uh, on the bottom as we have on the sides here. Okay, and that might be close. All right, that's pretty close there. So I'm just gonna leave those there. We'll turn off edge. We'll reselect those polygons we cloned here on the bottom. And we'll just move this up in the left view until we line it up at that bottom edge we just moved. Okay, so bring those polygons up and just zoom in really close and make sure you have them as close as you can to that uh, black edge. You can also snap them to it if you want to. Okay, so now that that's in position, uh, that's essentially the bottom polygons for the tank, uh, but we need to attach it and also fill this gap that we have going around here. All right, so let's reselect the tank, go over to attach and click on the bottom polygons to make it one object. Okay, now we'll turn off attach and it's gonna be a little hard to see here uh, but what we want to do is we want to just kind of cap this off. Um, you could also use target weld to weld the verts to the outside, but I think it'll be just as easy to maybe bridge these across. All right, so I'm going to select the bottom edge there on the outer part of the tank and the matching edge on the bottom polygons there. Okay, if you can see that. And I'll just hit bridge on these two. Okay, I'm also going to go over to the other side here and do the same thing. Bottom edge on the other side, bottom edge on the inside, and bridge those. Okay, and essentially now uh, that those are capped off at each end, we can go to border and select the open hole. Okay, right, right around there. So now we can cap that to fill it in, and we can just simply connect up some edges here. Okay, so I'm just going to go over to vertex, and we'll start on the corner, and we're just going to connect these pairs. All right, to connect the edges across. All right, so just do a pair at a time, and we'll just work uh, around the whole bottom here. Okay, and that's going to go this way. Okay, and a little bit tedious, but uh, it should only take a minute for us to close this in. Okay, so now we've worked over to where we purchased that. We'll just go the other way here on this corner here. All right, and 
since we have a bit of a weird edge there. I'll fix that in a second. All right, so over here on the corner we have the uh, side cut in. I'm just gonna connect the corner verts here, okay? Like that, and we'll connect this one, this one, and this one to this one. And don't worry too much about the edge flow on the bottom here. We'll clean it up a little more later on. All right, so let's work our way underneath, connecting each pair. And same thing on this corner here. It's gonna look a little weird at first, but that's okay. Okay, and it'll go down to these ones as well. Okay, there we go. So we're all connected up. Okay. And it looks like we accidentally connected uh, an extra pair there. So I'm just going to take this try or this cornerwise edge out by removing it. Okay. And I think we could probably get rid of maybe one of these edges here. Let's maybe do this inner one. Okay, I'm just going to select an edge in the center there and loop it. Okay, that should go all the way around. Okay, it didn't go this way because I missed a, a pair of verts here. So let's just connect that up first. Where are we here? There we go. All right, so just going to connect that one to that one. And then we'll re-loop this edge, this edge here. Okay, so now we can just control backspace to, uh, to clean it up a little more. And if you want to space these out, you can a bit. Uh, it's really not a big deal. But I might just move this over a little bit. I'm just going to turn my edge constraint here so I can pull it along. Maybe like that. And same thing over here. Let's move that down a bit. Okay, so not exactly awesome topology, but that's uh, not bad actually. Should work fine for what we're doing. 